Rice has been grown across China for nearly 10,000 years, and it remains the number one staple for around 65% of its people. Around 30% of all rice worldwide is both grown and eaten within China. As most folks are aware, cultivating rice demands a large volume of water, and it's typical to keep paddy fields under roughly 6 inches of standing water. That sheds light on why, throughout 10,000 years of history, nobody in China truly believed rice could be grown in arid deserts. But as the old saying goes, timing is everything, and necessity has a way of driving invention forward. Almost all rice strains suffer in salt alkali soil, yet between 1986 and 1991, a Chinese researcher developed a variety capable of handling those harsh conditions. Put another way, this scientist trained rice sprouts to survive inside sea-salted water environments. He named this remarkable strain Sea Rice 86. Compared to common rice, this new strain endures up to three times the usual salt concentration. Sea Rice 86 thrives even in the high salt and alkaline soils typical of very dry areas. Beyond mere survival, this rice actually aids in enhancing the overall condition of the soil. This variety is tough, stands up to floods, resists numerous plant illnesses, and carries more nutrients than typical rice varieties. Because of that scientist, in 2021, rice was harvested for the very first time on about 0.39 square miles of land in the desert area of Xinjiang, which had previously been deemed unfit for growing rice. Things continued so well that the area planted with sea rice 86 is set to reach about 25,900 square miles by 2031. In this way, the project to develop the waterless, lifeless deserts in China's northwest might look unrealistic at first glance. But nobody questions its eventual realization, and the segments of this grand plan have already begun, with progress speeding up.